David, 743, Alabama's Morning News. Joe Biden continues to play the blame game. I mean, when it comes to anything bad, uh, his approval ratings are not because of what he's doing. It's obviously because of that MAGA king, Donald Trump. I mean, (laughs) unbelievable. It is just crazy. And where we're at now with the national average on diesel prices, $5.55. A year ago, it was $3.13. It costs a farmer about $1,500 to fill up his tractor to do his job there. I mean... (laughs) Consumer price index now, energy up 30%, fuel up 80%, food at home up 10%, used cars 22% increase. Join us now to talk a little bit more about this inflation craziness we're going through right now. Young Voices, Eric Peterson is back. Eric, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you so much for having me this morning. Well, I tell you, you know, inflation April 8.3, a little bit better than March at 8.5, but we are still in the 8s. Oh, and by the way... Back in January of 2021, when Biden took office, uh, inflation rate of 1.4. Now we're in the eights. But I, just yesterday, he's blaming Trump again for this. He inherited this. It's not his fault. Yeah, I mean, when you look at um, I mean, the root causes of inflation, right, it's too much government spending, too much money essentially chasing too few products. Combine that with some supply chain disruptions due to um, wars and, you know, lockdowns in countries like China. Um, and that is a recipe, recipe, uh, recipe for both transitory inflation and for inflation due to uh, too much money sloshing around the economy. And that is not going to be fixed until spending gets under control and the Fed decides to massively hike rates. Well, I, I got to tell you, money it always seems to be, come election time, is the most important thing around the kitchen table discussion. When it comes to financial situations and budgets in homes, People have to be concerned and are very concerned about money. And right now, it is uh, one of the bigger reasons that President Biden's approval ratings are in the toilet. So when you talk about kind of slowing things down, reversing, you're right. The the spending has got to stop. Uh, and, and yet they still want to continue to give away money. $40 billion to Ukraine relief. Look, I get it. Those people need some help. But my gosh, uh, even Senator Tuberville here is questioning whether or not uh, we're doing the right thing there. I mean, 40 yeah. billion bucks, that's a lot when there's so much need here in our country. Well, I, I think it's really interesting, right? If you look at a lot of the administration's plans right now to try to get consumer um, prices under control, for example, just the other day, they announced a plan to uh, provide internet services to those making under a certain amount. But if you look at inflation for internet service, right, it's at 1.7%. So when you're talking about, like, you know, what's really hurting the family budget, right, we're talking about energy, we're talking about food, we're talking about the fact that wages haven't matched inflation 16 out of the last 18 months. You know, these are the issues that are causing problems around that kitchen table, um, and, you know, the administration's policies don't seem to be addressing those sort of things. Yeah, from YoungVoices.com, we're talking with Eric Peterson. Eric, your thoughts on what we ought to be doing from back in 2021, January, when Biden took over, if we could back up the tape, start over, some things that he probably should have done that just go against his policies that would have helped. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, America continues to have some of the most abundant energy resources in the world. Um, a lot of the administration's policies that uh, discourage investment in those areas, I think, is all coming to play now. Uh, now that demand has come back up in both trucking and people wanting to drive and get out of the house and uh, go on vacation, that certainly had an impact on fuel prices. Um, and also the fact, you know, if you look at all the spending that came out of Washington and, and they wanted more and thankfully they didn't get it. But again, there you have two, you get inflation, you have too many dollars chasing few, uh, you know, too few goods. And, uh, you know, a lot of that money came from Washington. Some of it was just pent up by folks wanting to spend and, you know, you were bound to see some inflation there, but I think a lot of it uh, comes from both cheap money from the Fed and too much money coming down from Congress. The blame game. Do you put any of this on Donald Trump like the president says? You know, I think, you know, Congress has had a spending problem for a long period of time. Um, eventually that bill comes due, whether it was going to be during the Trump presidency or the Biden presidency or whoever is president after Biden, um, until we get our you know fiscal finances in order. Um, inflation is going to continue to be a concern for the long term. Yep. Any financial advisor, you sit down with them and talk about your family budget. First thing they're going to say is, hey, reduce expenses and increase revenue. So and don't spend more than you make. 
I mean, if our own, if only our government would follow that very basic uh, philosophy. All right, Eric, I think I uh, appreciate you. And we'll have you back from Young Voices, Eric Peterson. It's seven forty-eight now. Alabama's morning news. Some-